So it's been a few days since Amazon now delivered my DJI Avata 2 drone, and I've been flying this every day since, been having a lot of fun with it. I would definitely say this is a great drone for introducing beginners into the world of FPV, which is exactly why I purchased it, because I had never flown FPV before the Avata 2, and it was definitely something I wanted to try out. So let's get the Avata 2 into the air, and I'm gonna take you through that experience as a first time FPV flyer. So with the motion controller, in order to start the props, we just tap the orange lock button twice and then hold it down to actually take off. Okay, and now, yes, we can actually start flying. And we can do this simply by moving the motion controller as we see fit. Now, even though this is an FPV, uh, an FPV drone, we can absolutely use this to capture cinematic shots if we wish to do so, since the Avati 2 is equipped with a 4K 6D imaging camera, so we can get some great footage if we want. There are three modes available to fly in. They are uh, beginner mode, normal mode, and sports mode. There is manual mode as well. However, you will not be able to fly using the motion controller in manual mode. You will need to get the standard FPV DJI controller in order to use that mode. But as a beginner, again, that's not something I'm particularly gonna be doing straight away anyway. It's gonna take a little bit of practice, even in, uh, you know, in normal and sports mode before I even think about moving up to manual. But honestly, this feels so natural, controlling this with the motion controller. It is probably the most fun I've had with a drone ever, flying the Avata 2. Absolutely love it. Yes, it takes a little bit of getting used to, even with this motion controller, which does feel very natural when you do get used to it. But it is just going to take a little bit of practice, since it is still a new experience at the end of the day. So right now I have it in normal mode and you can see that based on the uh, little N icon at the bottom left of the screen there that I'm seeing through the goggles. The screen, by the way, absolutely crisp image with these goggles. These are version three of DJI's FPV goggles and I love them, absolutely love them. Yes, yeah, so and no issues there whatsoever. But let's just go ahead now and tap it into normal mode, assigned to sports mode. Okay, that's just with the mode button press there. Now this will of course give us a little bit more speed, up to around 30 miles an hour I believe it is. So it is quite nippy, now it can go even faster in manual mode. Uh, but obviously again that's not available for those of us that are just using the FPV controller here. Sorry, the motion controller here. But even so, sports mode gives us a lot of freedom and a lot of flexibility. It is a lot of fun to fly, it really is. So just popping back into normal mode for the time being. One of the fun things about flying FPV are some of the maneuvers you are able to perform. Obviously these can get into very tight spaces, but you've still got to be careful not to crash since there's no obstacle avoidance. So if we go past me here, let's see if I can fly into this shed. Around here and through the door without hitting anything, and I can. The Avata 2 is such a joy to fly, it really is. Again, I wouldn't recommend, you know, manoeuvres like that straight from the get-go, but once you've had a bit of a fly with it, it won't take long and you'll be doing your own acro manoeuvres. And speaking of acro, there is Easy Acro. What is Easy Acro? This is Easy Acro. If we go ahead and drop down to example for flip, then using the joystick, we can perform little maneuvers like that. How fun is that? With no effort whatsoever on my part, just tapping the joystick and the maneuver will happen for us. So there's a couple of easy uh, acro maneuvers you can set, including flip, which I've just shown you. There is also the drift and slide. Slide doesn't really do anything, and drift turns the orientation of the drone 180 degrees. So it's great for capturing shots where you need to keep a subject in the centre of the frame. So again, let's just head back down here and try and weave through the trees. All I need to do is point the circle where I want the drone to fly. And as you can see, no effort apart from that. Very, very natural. Just be careful with trees because sometimes the branches can be a little bit deceiving. 
but I haven't had any issues yet in terms of crashes or anything. So I don't want to speak too soon, mind. So right here we have the record option, although I actually have it set automatically to record once the drone takes off on both the drone and also on the goggles. The drone is currently banked because it's a little bit windy in case you're wondering why the horizon isn't straight there. Uh, enhanced display. So that will brighten the display in the goggles, but it will also use a little bit more battery. So I'm going to keep that turned off for now. We also have head tracking, which allows you to use your head but I'm not going to do that because I did try it and it was very weird. Um, if you have a friend or a partner and you want them to see what you're seeing as you're flying, then that's what Live View will be able to offer you. What's great is that with the DJI Avata, you had to connect the goggles to a mobile through a cable. Now that is not the case at all. You can actually connect over Wi-Fi. Easy Acro, make sure this is turned on if you want to use some of those maneuvers that I showed you. And if we head over to the left-hand side here, and if we head down to settings, we have our safety settings. So this is where you set your default heights for return to home, max flight heights, things of that nature. And you can also change camera settings as well. To do that, just head up to camera here. Now I can't change them right now because I'm currently recording, but obviously you can if you stop recording. And yeah, it's just a whole lot you can play about with here. Up to 4K 60 can be recorded in with the drone. Right now I have it set to 4K 30. And you can even change the FOV, which is pretty awesome. Again, when you're not recording, you can set a wide FOV. One thing I can't show you because it will stop the recording. If you tap the goggles twice, it will actually give you an augmented reality view of what's in front of you as the pilot. So you'll still get the drone FPV view in the corner of the screen but the rest of the screen will be taken up with your actual life, live view as if you weren't wearing the goggles. That's really helpful if you need to see what's going on, but don't want to keep taking the goggles on and off. So let's come in for a landing here. The only thing I would say, a little bit of a downside, is that landing is a bit of a pain compared to some other DJI drones because of course of using the uh, FPV view so you don't really have you know, easy ability to land because you need to see exactly where you are facing. And that means having to maneuver the camera around a bit. So yep, I think that looks good. And then I just tap the lock button to actually initiate the landing itself. Some of the other things I do love about the Avata 2, first of all, it's actually really quiet. FPV drones are known for being quite noisy. I definitely can't say that that is the case with the Avata 2. Obviously, it's not silent, it is still flying, it is still a drone, but in terms of what I expected, very, very happy with that. Also, something I love is the fact that the batteries are much easier to take in and out than what I saw with the original Avata, which I never owned, but I did watch videos. With the Avata 2, you literally have two buttons on the side, and that allows you to remove the batteries very easily, similar to DJI standard drones, and then put the next battery in when you need to use it, rather than trying to fiddle about with getting the battery up on top here. And you don't even need to put an SD card in this. In fact, I don't have one right now, as this comes with, I think it's about 48 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, yes, if you're gonna be taking this traveling, you are definitely gonna to wanna to take some SD cards with you. But just for me right here, coming out for this quick flight with you guys, didn't need one. But overall, I am in love with the Avata 2. It has been such a joy, so much fun to fly. I'm really enjoying it. I can definitely see this as a fantastic introduction into the world of FPV flying. Of course, as you get more advanced and want to go to manual mode, you will need to purchase that separate DJI FPV controller. But for me, at least for the foreseeable future, that's not gonna be a problem or something I need to worry about. Having great fun with this. Hope the video helped, guys. Thanks for watching.